called Helpsters. It's Stephanie DeBruzzo. Okay, let's thank John for putting this together. This is her in 1993 for Sesame Street, I got my SAG card in 1998 for The Adventures of Elmo and Grouchland, and I got my WGA card in 2020 for a show called Donkey Hody on PBS, and I am so lucky to have spent most of my career working in preschool television. I love what I do, and I love the people I get to work with, and a lot of them are here today. I'm so happy to see the beautiful people I work with. Now, it is dangerous to say you love what you do. Because when you say you love what you do, when you say you love what you do, people think that means that they can pay you less. Yeah. And has and has has been mentioned by Noel, yeah, a lot of us in preschool work on lower budget shows and we're used to it, but that doesn't mean we still don't deserve a living wage and access to health care and residuals Woo! regardless Woo! of platform. The other thing that happens when you say you love your job is that people think your work isn't work. We know that executives think that what we all do as writers and performers is easy. We know that it's not easy. But when you work in kids and family television, they think it's effortless. They think it writes itself. The gravy does not come with the meat, to quote Neil Simon. Uh, I mean, it is not easy to make a inanimate puppet come to life and be something that people care about. And to tell a compelling story in 11 minutes or nine minutes or five minutes or three minutes, including curriculum points that aren't supposed to sound like curriculum points and using a fraction of the vocabulary that everyone else is allowed to use, that is not easy. we know it's important because we know the impact that we have on our young audiences but we don't just have impact in this world our work has value yes. this is the birthplace of children's television 1949 howdy doody was the first nationally broadcast children's television show it also technologically was the first show to have a transcontinental split screen and the first show period to be broadcast in color I uh, bet you didn't know that Howdy Doody, this little kitty show sold a lot of Wonder Bread and a lot of Twinkies and it sold a lot of television sets for RCA and that's when showbiz learned the value of children's television and even today Warner Discovery executives were quoted in the trades as saying one of the reasons why HBO Max was changed to Max was to make it seem more family friendly. <laughs> they know that parents have to make hard decisions about how many streamers they can pay for every month and they know that that decision is being made largely by what their kids can get out of it. Our work has value. Yeah. Yeah. Now, as Mujan mentioned, as Noel mentioned, a lot of us who work in kids and family here today are on different contracts, are on network code, PBS contracts. So we are here in solidarity, but we also know that this fight is our fight too. Yes. We know that when network code is negotiated and PBS code is negotiated, this is gonna set the tone and it's gonna set the precedent. And that is vital to all of us. I personally would also like, if it's possible today, to have some financial support for our uh, siblings on the line as well. I'm wearing a shirt from WGAStrikeShirts.com. I see a couple other people on the line wearing that too. Proceeds from these uh, sales go to the Entertainment Community Fund. And if you can, if you are able, the Entertainment Community Fund could really use your help. Since the strike began, they have raised $7 million and doled out almost $5 million to performers and writers coast to coast. It's been a lifeline even before the strike. It used to be the Actors Fund. They changed their name recently to make sure that everybody knows people above and below the line, in front of behind the camera, are all welcome to take advantage of their vital, vital services. And I would like to add one more thing personally. As I was preparing for this today, it occurred to me that most of the shows I work on are about strong communities where characters who are all very different come together in love and acceptance and work together to solve hard problems. And if that's not union solidarity, I don't know what it is. Thank you. Let's keep fighting to make a safe and equitable and fair industry for us and the next generation. Thanks for having me.